during the night of the last uh, day of the Chesna Conference in Dalana University, Sweden, I was awakened uh, by a phone call from Italy. The phone call uh, was by one of the leaders uh, of uh, the community of Damanur, and the news that he had to tell me was not a good one, actually. Oberto Airaudi, known as the founder of Damanur as Falco, the Hawk, the founder and the inspiration of Damanur, just passed away in the nuclear community in Aval, where he lived uh, together with other Damanurian citizens since 1980. Falco was 63 years old last year, and uh, for some months uh, had been suffering from a cancer uh, to the right column, which spread to the liver, which uh, he faced without any aggressive treatment uh, in accordance uh, with the vision of health he always advocated. The following Sunday, June 30, I had the privilege uh, of being the only researcher from outside the community to be admitted uh, to the Roberto Airaudi's funeral, which is held in the open temple of Damanur with the participation of some uh, thousand people, let's say. Well, uh, although this paper is not dedicated uh, to discuss uh, the history and beliefs uh, of Damanur, uh, it will be helpful, I think, uh, to take a quick view of this uh, reality. Damanur, uh, as most of you know, is an esoteric New Age community founded uh, in 1976, uh, 75, uh, in the Valchiusella Valley, some 30 miles uh, north of Turin, Italy. It is an eco-society and a federation of communities and eco-villages with their own social and political structure in continued evolution. And uh, the Federation of Damanur uh, is a center for spiritual, artistic, uh, and social research known uh, throughout the world. Its philosophy is based on action, uh, optimism, and upon the idea that every human being lives to leave something of themselves to the others and to contribute towards the growth and evolution of the whole humanity. Damanur was founded, as I said, uh, in 1976 uh, by a group of people who came together around the figure of uh, Oberto Airaudi, Hawk, to plan the creation of a new society where everyday life could be the practical application of spiritual values. The goals of Damanur are, in fact, freedom and the re reawakening uh, of the human being as a divine, spiritual, and material principle. The creation of a model of life based upon ethical principles of living together well and with love. According to Oberto, Damanur is neither a religion nor a movement, but rather a social experiment and a community. In fact, uh, Damanur has its own constitution, government, uh, and even a currency known as credit. There is little doubt, uh, however, that Damanur citizens uh, live together on the basis of a peculiar religious philosophy and worldview. From the original 20 members, uh, Damanur has expanded to become the largest uh, esoteric New Age communal group in the world, with some 600 members living in several communities, with about 20 people living in each of them, all located in the same valley, and another 400 in communal houses nearby. Another satellite community has been founded in Berlin, Germany, and there are groups of sympathizers sharing the same worldview spread throughout Europe, United States, Japan, and Australia. There are four levels of membership uh, indicated by the letter A, B, C, and D. The letters A and B indicating those living, living uh, communally in Damanur. 
The central community in Piedmont is located in a series of highly symbolic buildings, including a large open temple. The existence of most important facility, the construction of which was started in 1978, became known to the outside world only in 1992, following the revelation of a disgruntled former members. It is the temple of humankind, a huge subterranean temple comprising a fantastic collection of richly decorated rooms and galleries, an underground work of art completely realized by hand. It includes uh, the Al of Water, the Al of Earth, and there is also the Al of Spheres, also of mirrors uh, and uh, metals. There is a blue temple and a labyrinth. The temples are a casket in which Damanur celebrated its own universal spirituality in order to define a new road of union between the human and the divine. Although Italian authorities originally regarded it as having been built in breach of zoning regulations, Damanur managed to either win or settle all the ensuing court cases and is now legally allowed both to operate and expand its underground temple. For Damanur citizens, the temple is much more than a means of expressing their artistic creativity. It is a mystical pole at which ritual work takes place for the benefit of the whole of humanity. A number of different rituals uh, express a worldview based on the sanctify of nature, karma, reincarnation, and the tradition of Western esotericism in general. Damanur runs its own kindergarten, an intermediate school which has succeeded in developing friendly relations with local school authorities. Relationship with neighbors in the Valcusella Valleys have been more difficult. As has happened historically in the case of similar large communal settlements, some local residents initially welcomed Damanur in the hope of reviving a struggling local economy. Damanur has, in fact, become very much of a tourist attraction, receiving more than 50,000 people per year. Other local residents, however, fear that Damanur's uh, citizens will quickly become the majority of the Valley's voters, thus eventually controlling the city council in several uh, local small towns. The town lo closest to Damanur, uh, Vidracco, for instance, elected a citizen of Damanur as its major. In the quick look uh, we have now given, we notice that mostly seen uh, the subterranean temple, uh, how the artistic discourse uh, has a certain importance in the spiritual experience of Damanur. However, there is uh, something more. In the spiritual philosophy of the founder, who in fact is known by his followers not only as a healer and a philosopher, but also as a painter, the artistic theme is perceived as a unique career of spiritual teaching. So we have to implement in this reading the following statement of Roberto Airaudi, who writes, I do paintings because there are things that I can only write in this way. With the selfic paintings, I try to give an aesthetic idea of my esoteric message." End of quotation. Before we turn our attention to the particular painting that the author has defined selfic paintings, it is important to note that his approach to art is well before the birth of Damanur, which, as we have seen, dates back to the 70s. If we wanted to make an attempt of formal and aesthetic survey, 
The beginning of our research should focus on some early episodes of paintings that that back to the 60s. The first and only known painting by Oberto Airaudi is dated 1967, when he was 17 years old. It is important to observe in this very little painting the close bond that unites Airaudi with the artistic avant-garde of the city in which he lived at the time, Turin, because in these years, in fact, Turin was the capital of an Italian art movement of international significance. I refer to the Movimento per l'arte concreta, concrete art movement, that was an artistic movement founded in Italy in 1948 with the aim of promoting non-figurative art, in particular an art with a strong emphasis on abstraction, free from imitation and reference to the outside world. The term concrete art was coined actually in France by the Dutch artist Theo van Deusburg, closely associated with the, the style movement, neoplasticism, who in 1930 founded the group Art Concrete uh, in France. And uh, he also articulated its features in a manifesto titled The Basis of Concrete Art, a manifesto in which uh, he explained, Van Deusburg explained, that the resultant art should be non-referential insofar as its components should not refer to or allude to the ent entities normally, insofar, uh, the normally encountered in the natural and visible world. This is a distinction from uh, abstraction in general, and in a more general sense, abstract art could uh, and often does include the abstraction of forms in nature, but concrete art was intended to emanate directly from the mind and consequently to be more cerebral than abstract art in general. To conclude with this interlude, if we compare the 1967 painting of Oberto Airaudi with a contemporary painting by ear and city of realization of uh, Filippo Scroppo, a pastor of a Valdensian church and prominent representative of the concrete art movement, the kind of artistic inspiration experienced by the young Airaudi is quite immediately evident. At the end of the 60s, Airaudi ends for a while um, his initial artistic experiments to devote himself with the activities of the Horus Center, which a few years later, as we saw 1966, 1976, will form the initial core of Damanur. The feeling of his artistic imagination will become the centerpiece of the rich symbolism with which they will be adorned temples and various buildings of the nascent community and of which we have just seen some examples. In 1983, however, Airaudi resumed his painting career. From that date until his death, he will uh, realize he he will uh, realize uh, several thousand paintings dedicating every day to this artistic activity perspective chiaroscuros asymmetries hyperrealism do not serve to his needs therefore he creates a form of painting that narrates through expression the foundation of Damanur Hart. The color shines with light, the atmosphere is represented in its mobility, and space is articulated by the movements of forms. The archetypes support the counterpoint of, of innumer innumerable variations, expressed sometimes with great natural spontaneity, and in other through a repertoire of elementary forms 
retrieved from the unconscious. Oberto Airaudi is a man who acutely perceives the living process and has a feeling for the organic form, be it a manifest in a person, an animal, a plant, a shell, a fossil, in everything which has been formed by a vital force in its incessant creative process. As we said, Oberto Airaudi has defined its own painting as selfic paintings. In fact, selfica, from, uh, from which derived the term selfic paintings, selfica is one of the most peculiar beliefs uh, of the complex philosophical and spiritual system of Damanur, and also a field of empirical research developed through experimentation conducted by, conducted by the Manurians. A discipline whose aim is to create structures to concentrate and direct vital and intelligent energies able to interact with the environment and human beings. Through Selfica, it is possible in the Damanur worldview to create devices based on the spiral form and the use of metals, colors, uh, special inks uh, and minerals that act as conduits for intelligent energies, border forces that can act as intermediaries between different planes of existence. Building a selfic structure is uh, like making a body for the selfic energy to use. The intelligence uh, of the self uh, is the energy that manages the physical part of the structure. One of the research fields uh, linked uh, to Selfica is, uh, as we said, the Selfic paintings of Oberto Airaudi. In this case, uh, intelligent energies are conducted through two-dimensional uh, forms based on signs and colors. Selfic paintings have an aura which projects in the space around them and correspond to their size. In selfic painting, the metal used in classic selfica are translated into colors and their three dimensions into two. Selfic paintings are kept active through the use of light and the attention of observers. The colors, shapes and signs are considered to be alive, animate, and in constant transformation, so that they project signals and information into the surrounding environment and toward their users. The key for reading a selfie painting is given by the combination of colors, signs, and the title, always expressed in poetic form. Almost all selfic paintings show different characteristics if seen in various kinds of light. For example, daylight and, and ultraviolet light reveal different meanings in each painting. Paintings placed, placed alongside one another create alternative effects to a single painting because they live in symbiosis and interact with one another. The paintings call upon the observer to be directly involved in their reading and interpretation <clears throat> through sensorial and rational experience. They can uh, provoke, uh, in this worldview, dreams, uh, facilitate new inside, insights, and awake dormant potential. An effect of maximum amplification of the painting's functions can be obtained within a selfic cabin that is a structure created by the integration of 33 paintings from different periods with different themes and sizing along with a sphero self. A selfic cabin is a space of a great complexity in which the vibration of each molecule is oriented to create a constructive interference with the human energy field, entering into relation with it 
through the energy lines of the body. A selfie cabin is considered to be a true portal to higher energies and intelligences, a space of amplification for therapeutic effects, and an ideal place for working on perception, dreams, and contact with the innermost aspect of oneself. The first selfie cabin in the world, known as the Hoax Hill Cabin, opened in late 2011 in a private home in Scotts Valley, located in the mountains behind Santa Cruz, California. Let's go to the conclusion. The history of art generally demonstrates that creators and artists suffer from a notable difficulty with and a positive aversion to expressing themselves with a sufficient fluency and coherence in regard to their work and its underlying principles. Although Oberto Airaudi has, product, has produced thousands of paintings and never offered an explanation of their significance, he has maybe done more. He has always accompanied the painting with a narration written on the back of the canvas, one that goes beyond a title and gives the viewer the task of reading and interpreting the work. I conclude this brief speech by reading the entire title of the selfie painting made on canvas by Airaudi in 2000, which I consider his masterpiece, which not coincidentally greets visitors in the permanent exhibition of selfie paintings located in Damanur. All the heavens in your hands, just as the shadow owned by the universes, we will have new equilibriums and powers to explore. The geometries in movement will have adventure the stars will shine in the extreme and cold darkness, hitting new worlds. In new, synchronic moves, reflected thought, magic acts will develop. I am the visible key, the mystic door to the inner heavens. I welcome and reflect, pulsate and combine frequencies until I reach outside of times, of time. Aeonian intelligences assist to brief facts, hesitation, hints of power difficult to understand for now. Liquid densities wait from above. Impatient spiritual beings come and go from, the, from this birth room. They attract wave soul for you. The hearts, where there are hearts, beat appropriate rhythms, ritual, moving. They ordered through and, theor and theurgic magic. I am, observed, the door frequency that half closes itself and that the sensitive knows how to dance, still hesitating. It is this the right behavior. All the heavens in your hands now, just as the shadow owned by the universes. Many thanks for your attention.